Okay, we are going to go into our last activity of the day. And um, this is about thinking about pulling back from all the specifics today um, and connecting to a vision of if I truly had an equity-centered, trauma-informed school, if I, we really could get all the way there, what would it be like? Um, so I'm gonna ask a question that might seem unrelated, but I promise it's not. Who here has seen Black Panther, the movie? Can someone explain to the class what Wakanda is? What is Wakanda? Yeah. The sole African nation hidden within the jungles of Central Africa. Yeah, so it's like a made up country in the movie. Um, who remembers, like, what does it look like there? Like, what is, what is, what do you see when it, that part of the movie is there? Beautiful green and blues, water. Yeah. What, what about the buildings? Futuristic. Yeah, it's like a lot of technology, very futuristic. It's sort of the idea is that it's, it's, the, it's the idea of an African nation that was never colonized. And so it's like very self-sufficient. There's this warrior people. So I want to show you this video, which is um, a professor at Harvard in preparation for a convocation speech she was giving. She did this conversation around her campus. I'm out here doing a little woman on the street today. Awesome. And I want to ask you a question about, you've seen Black Panther, of course obviously. I've seen Black Panther. What do you what think Black Panther? Panther? Okay, that's right. I want you to imagine, what do you think schools in Wakanda look like? Ooh. Oh gosh, I don't know. God, it's a fascinating question. <sighs> Their schools are amazing. Uh, I should first begin with, you know, I, I just got back from <laughs> So I, I, have a, I have a lot to say. I think they're very inclusive, definitely. Uh, kids learn by, you know, experience, by playing, uh, by playing with the, uh, that substance that I forgot. The vibranium. vibranium. Yes. So I expect that they're super awesome considering how Shuri came out. I mean, she is so great. Like Shuri's lab, like hands-on, super experimental, new technology. And they don't have to do any academics until they're a little older. I would imagine that teachers are venerated in Wakanda, that they, it's one of the highest positions that you can take. They're, they're free, they're public, um, and they have a strong emphasis on STEM. They look like Morehouse's spelman. Oh! <laughs> good answer, good answer. Schools in Wakanda would be liberatory for students of African or of, of color. I think it would be rich in black history. I think that the students will have an opportunity to really understand their culture. Black male teachers would be more than 2%. What do you think the teaching looks like? Huh. Maybe it's more interactive um, and less kind of hierarchical. I don't know. I feel like they wouldn't be like much different than like exceptional teachers that we have here. Kids would, from the time they're in pre-kindergarten, feel like they could do anything. That the whole world was open, the whole universe was open to them because all these people around them believe so deeply in them. What do you think they look like physically? Physically, yeah. I don't think they'll have walls. Open space, they're all glass, floor to ceiling. Like the um, opera house in Sydney. Palaces. I don't, I don't even know that there is a building, right? Like I think they're spending a lot of time out and about in the world. I think the schools probably have a lot of important outdoor elements. I would imagine that when you think about the beauty of the landscape and the diversity of the landscape in, in Wakanda, I can imagine the schools, they're leveraging that. Full of sunshine and brightness and imagination. Shiny and pretty and tall and robust but also like very purposeful so like maybe I can touch something and it just gives me like a can of soda or something I don't know like something really cool I think it'd be a pretty fun place to go yeah. sounds like a nice place I would like to go me too <laughs> okay thanks Wakanda forever <laughs> Wakanda forever mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. thank you thank you thank you thank you I'm using this for my convocation speech. I think that's brilliant so one thing that I just love about that is that sometimes when we think about changing schools, we get really stuck in what schools are right now, and there's a lot of problems with schools right now. And so if we sort of think small, sometimes it limits our hope around what could be possible. And to me, having like a dream and a vision is so helpful when things get hard or when you're not sure where to go next. If you can reground yourself in that vision and then just think, what's the smallest step I could take today to move a little bit closer? 
So we're gonna do just a very rapid fire activity right now. I'm gonna give you like seven minutes to come up with your dream school. Um, I gave you some options there of ways you might go about it. So you're gonna have a few minutes, you have markers, you, have, you can grab a piece of big paper or take a smaller chunk off of it. Um, and we're gonna do like a little show and tell in seven minutes. I'll put a timer. Wait, are we getting a table or as a individual? Um, you could do it by yourself or with a partner or with the group, whatever, whatever your vibe is right now. 